Hello everyone. So I'm back for the third time today, uh, but I really want to deliver this quick little tidbit for you guys. Um, and if you hear a bunch of noise, I'm in my car because I am on my lunch break and it's hot, so my air is up loud. But anyway, I want to talk to you about how to maintain your faith during difficult times or maybe even times where you feel, you know, where it feels hopeless during difficult times, seasons of suffering, hopeless situations, impossible situations. And the way that you maintain your, your faith during that time, I'm going to give you three R's. First, you have to remember. You have to remember what God has done in your past. It's so important when we're going through things that we go back and we look over our lives and we remind ourselves of the times that God provided or that he made a way or that he brought us out before. And we remember that if he did it then, that he can do it again. Um, and that's something that sounds really cliche, but it's very true because some of the most difficult times in my life, the only way that I really got through it by, was by remembering. Remembering what God had done before in my life. Remembering that he has already overcome the world. You know, remembering who God is and how much he loves me and how much he cares about me. So remembering, first and foremost, you got to remember. And I love that the human mind is so intricate because sometimes your memory really comes in handy. Now, there are times where your memory is really hurt, but then there are times where remembering really, really, really is a good thing because you can look back and you can pull from your past and say, you know, I remember when I was struggling and God made a way, or I remember when I was hurting and God healed my heart, or I remember when I was going through this other difficult circumstance and God made a way and brought me through it. So the first R is remembering. The second R is rehearsing. You have got to rehearse slash replay over and over and over in your mind that thing that you are remembering. For me, um, you know, one of the things, first of all, first and foremost, my ministry for me is teaching other women how to find their identity in Christ. And um, relationships is heavy on my heart because my brokenness, most of the brokenness in my life came from really bad relationships. And so uh, for me, when I went through my breakup last year, the way that I got through it was by remembering all the other breakups that God had brought me through. And so, yeah, this hurts. And yeah, I've been here before. But you know what? I remember when God brought me through a breakup that I was, you know, where I was in that relationship for five years. And if God did that with five years, he'll get me through this one of six months, you know. So you've got to remember and you've got to replay it over and over, rehearse it in your mind and fortify yourself in the knowledge that if God did it once before, that he will do it again. And even though it may not feel like it or I may not see it, I know that he will do what he said he would do and what he has already done for me a thousand times before. So first you want to remember you want to find a time. I know this last year has been uh, very difficult for me financially and, and, and emotionally in many other ways because I've kind of been going through this transitional period, but also a season of suffering. And what I've done a lot is I've had to look back many days when I felt like I couldn't continue on and remember that God has brought me through financial struggles before and remember that God has done it for me before and he would do it again. And then you have to rehearse. And literally, when I say rehearsing, replay I really literally mean you have to sit and meditate on that all day long this season of suffering for me has been a lot of me remembering what God has done for me before and sitting at my desk all day while I'm working and saying God you did it before you'll do it again God you I mean all day long God you did it before you will do it again God you brought me through that breakup before you're bringing me through it again God you brought me to that financial struggle before you'll bring me through it again God you brought me through uh, depression before you'll do it again God you brought me through fear before you'll do it again God you've done the impossible before you'll do it again and I mean all day long and I still have to do this sometimes because I have days where I, I'm going through stuff too we all do and and I have to go back and remember and then I have to rehearse it and replay it in my mind all day long and meditate on what God did before and what he's going to do again so the first R is that you have to remember the second R is you have to rehearse or replay over and over again 
what it is that God has done for you before so that you can fortify yourself and find your strength in that knowledge and the truth that he's going to do it again. And then you renew. That's the last R, renew. You're renewing your mind by rehearsing and replaying what you're remembering that God has done for you before. And when you can remember and then you can rehearse it and replay it and meditate on it, then you begin to renew your mind because you can kind of bring yourself into the peace and the rest of God by saying, okay, I remember that he did it before. Now I've rehearsed it and I got it in my mind and I'm on, you know, I'm remembering and, and, and I'm holding on to this Lord. I'm holding on to you. And now I feel renewed and I feel like I have strength to continue going on in this day because I've remembered what you've done. And now I'm rehearsing it and I'm replaying that over and over in my mind. And I feel calm and I feel at peace and I feel stronger because I remember what you've done and because I've rehearsed it and replayed it in my mind. And now I'm renewed knowing that you will do it. And so that right there for me is how I have kept my faith and still do during some of the hardest, darkest, most difficult times in my life where I'm facing uncertain circumstances and I don't know how it's going to get worked out. When my family and I are going through things, when my friends and loved ones are going through things, when I personally am going through things, I can keep my faith through those difficult circumstances and times by number one, remembering what God has already done for me. Number two, rehearsing and replaying that over and over in my mind. And then number three, renewing my mind by remembering and rehearsing what God has already done for me and finding comfort in the fact that if he did it before, that he will do it again. And so it's so important that we do those three R's when we're going through these really tough times in our life and we feel like, guys, you don't forgot about me. I've been praying and I don't see you. I recently, if any of you have been following my ministry for a while, um, recently got approved for the, the the most amazing apartment I've ever had in my life. I When I was 18, I ruined my credit and it has taken me eight years. I'm 26 now. It's taken me eight years to get back to a point where I'm starting to rebuild my life. And so I was looking for, I just moved, my lease was about to be up uh, and I was looking for a new apartment and I was like, God, I just want to be back in this certain area, this certain location. And so for a couple of weeks, I was praying about it and I was like, Lord, lead me where you want me to go. Well, then he led it to me, led me to it. And I got really nervous and anxious because it was more beautiful, more grand than I ever thought I could have. And so I was really worried and I was really anxious because I was like, Lord, I know you led me here and I know you'll take me through it, but this is impossible according to my credit and income. So in that moment, you know, during that probably week while I was waiting to hear back if I got approved, it was constantly, okay, Lord, you blessed me with an apartment last year and I wasn't supposed to get one and you led me to this one. And if you did it last year and it was impossible, you will do it again this year and it's supposed to be impossible. And when you know it, that God came through and not only did he do what was supposed to be impossible, but he did it better than I was even expecting or asking for. But the way that I held on to my faith during that time where I was kind of anxious and worried about it was by remembering that hey God has done the impossible in my life so many times before and if he's done it before then he'll do it again and I just every day I sat at my desk and I, I meditated if I hadn't heard from them yet and I started feeling nervous I'd be like uh-uh God you did it for me before and I would say it over and over again but you did it for me before and I know I'm worried right now but you did it before and I know they say it's impossible but you did it before and I know they told me I probably wouldn't get approved but Lord I wasn't supposed to get approved last year at the apartment I applied for but you did it then and you'll do it again and I just kept telling myself that over and over because I know that I can count on God to do what he's already done for me before because God I think that the reason that we have such a hard time maintaining our faith is we really don't make our relationship with God personal enough but one of the best things about being broken, like last year when I went through that breakup and I said, God, I'm not getting no more relationships. I'm not wasting any more time. I'm giving myself fully to you. I want to fall in love with you. And I did. And I still do every day. And my relationship with God is now personal because I know that God is just not this deity floating around in the heavens who I can't approach. 
I know that my God is approachable. Why? Because the Bible says that he knew me from my mother's womb intimately, deeply. He knew me. He formed me. So that means that he knows me inside out. And that means that he knows everything about me, the way I think, the way I sound, the way that I feel. He knows. And so it's really intimate that I have that connection with him. And so, wow, then he goes from being a deity to being relatable, to being close to me, to, to being some something you know something more than just this idealistic angelic being he goes from being that to really being my god and being on a personal level with me and then it was okay god i want to find out who you are and i want to find out how you love me and then jeremiah 31 3 says i love you everlastingly so i will continue to be faithful to you so it was like wow not only did he form me but he loves me endlessly and so he's gonna be faithful to me wow i have never experienced that I've never experienced somebody being faithful to me because they love me that much and so it got even deeper and deeper in me how much he loves me how much he knows me how much he wants to do for me then the Bible said that it is his great pleasure to give us the kingdom and that we are his special things set aside for him and I found out all these things and then God went from being just God to being my God and my father and my love and my comfort and my provision and 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 my peace and my safety and and my rest and the, and, and 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 everything to me so I know that if he loves me that much and he formed me and he took the time to do all of that that he's gonna do what it is that he said he would do and that I'm believing he's gonna do and so I can keep my faith during this difficult circumstance by remembering that he will do that by remembering Remembering what he's already done then by rehearsing it over and over in my mind and fortifying myself in that and then renewing myself and saying all right now I can kind of calm down because I remember and I rehearse and I know he's gonna do it so this is how um, you know you can keep this is how I do it and this is how you can keep your faith during those difficult circumstances in your life when you know you're believing and you're trusting and you have faith but maybe your faith is wavering because you've been waiting for a little while or maybe you're hurting and your faith is wavering a little bit or maybe you're finding it more and more difficult every day to keep pressing on keep pressing on remember rehearse or replay and renew love you guys be talking to you later